Hi everyone, my name is James Joshua Otto and I'm here today to walk you through the new piano library Glacier Keys from Fracture Sounds. This is a Steinway D concert grand piano playing harmonics and this is what it sounds like. Glacier Keys is available for the free Contact player, meaning that you don't need a full version of Contact to use it, and it was recorded using the same piano in the same concert hall as our other piano libraries, Midnight Grand and Dulciano, but this time the piano is playing harmonics. On a piano, harmonics are produced by gently placing a finger on the strings of a piano, which in this case produces a note that's an octave higher than the natural sounding pitch of the string. Although this is an extended technique piano library, we've put a lot of care into making it as playable as possible. So you can approach it in the same way as you would playing any regular piano. We've programmed it so that middle C sounds like middle C, even though the actual key that produced the note was an octave below. So let's have a look at the interface. If you've used other Fracture Sounds libraries before, then you'll be familiar with aspects of the interface here. However, this is the first library where we've offered atmosphere layers and microphone positions together. So you can switch between the layer mixer and the mic mixer using the tabs here. Now let's have a listen to each of the layers in isolation so you can hear how they sound. And I'll start with the raw piano samples. Here's how they sound. Next, let's have a listen to the Glisten layer. The Glisten layer is a pad made of processed metallic instruments, which gives a sort of shimmering sustain which twinkles as you hold down the keys. So this is what that sounds like. The frost layer is an evolving reversed granular piano texture created by processing the raw piano samples. The thaw layer is a smooth pad created from electric guitar feedback and processed through a signal chain which creates a haunting sustain. The atmosphere intensity dial is mapped to your mod wheel by default, but you can change it to any MIDI CC that you like. Let me just play a little bit with all the layers unmuted so you can hear how it affects the atmosphere layer's intensity as I'm playing. Next up, let me demo the mic positions for you. So I'm going to solo the raw piano samples and switch over to the mic mixer here. Let's start off by listening to the close mics. I'll also turn off the reverb so that we can just hear the samples completely on their own.
next, let's have a listen to the mid mic position. And finally, the far mic position. Now, you can also use the perspective slider below here to easily and quickly move between a close or a distant mix. So you can see how if I slide this, it's going to change the balance of the microphones above. And you can actually access this perspective slider whilst you're in the layer mixer too. So it does that sort of behind the scenes. As I mentioned before, we've also got the reverb dial here, which allows you to have a little bit more control over the ambience. The colour dial controls a carefully selected EQ curve to brighten or soften the tone of the piano. At its high position, the presence of the piano is boosted, allowing it to stand out a bit more in a mix. At its lowest position, the tone is softened for a more gentle, intimate sound. The stereo width goes from mono to stereo. This controls only the raw piano samples, so you can have them completely in mono whilst having the atmosphere layers in stereo around them. The key release dial controls the volume of key releases. And the pedal noise controls the volume of the pedal. The pedal resonance control here is really cool. This lets you dial in exactly how much sympathetic resonance is produced when the sustain pedal is held down. For this library, we devised a method of separating the sympathetic resonance from the dry piano sound, which allows for a greater level of control. It also means that pressing the pedal while notes are already held will produce sympathetic resonance instead of only notes which are played after the pedal is pressed. So let me turn this up and demonstrate how that's going to sound. Let's have a quick look at the settings page, which you can access by clicking on the cogs just here. We've got a velocity response control, which just controls the dynamic range of the instrument, so you can adjust that to your taste. We've got a sample start control, which trims the start of the samples to adjust tightness. So at its highest value, it means a more immediate response, while a lower value allows for more breathing room at the start of the samples, resulting in a more natural sound. The resonance mode control here lets you control whether the sympathetic resonances are produced only when the pedal is pressed or if it's always produced, resulting in a rich resonant sound even when the pedal isn't used.
And we also have included a set of reverb impulse responses for you to choose from. As well as the main Glacier Keys patch, we've also included a selection of additional patches which have been processed in various ways to offer additional sonic colors. So let me demonstrate those for you as well. So firstly, we have the muted patch. This patch uses dynamic filtering to create a more delicate sound while still retaining a sharp transient. The soft patch uses only the bottom dynamic layer, but it's spread across the velocity range, which gives you more dynamic control in softer passages. We also have the By the Fire patch. This also uses only the bottom dynamic, but in addition, the notes trigger samples from higher keys, which have been tuned down to create a warmer timbre. Next up we have Ice Plains, and this is the opposite of By the Fire. So this is samples from lower keys which have been tuned up to produce a clear, bright tone. Next up is Underwater. This is similar to By the Fire, but the samples are stretched down even more with some additional EQing, and it includes the full range of dynamics. Forgotten Voices is a smooth, haunting pad crafted from the raw piano samples. And finally, we have Funky EP, which is the raw piano with various processing to achieve a similar sound to an electric piano. So there we go, we've spent some time looking at the new release Glacier Keys from Fracture Sounds. I've been James Joshua Otto and it's been a pleasure to walk you through this and we'll see you again next time. Thanks.